from uh, a gentle couple we are watching right now and we want them to start their testimony from their name and tell us the beautiful thing the Lord has done to this family. My name is Evelyn Anne. I'm from Enugu State. The man beside me is Benjamin Ife Sinachian, my husband. The problem that brought me into Synagogue Church of All Nation was a uh, was a sickness. I was sick. I went to the hospital. After three days, I was in hospital. They said uh, I should go for tests. When I went for the test, they said uh, uh, beside me by my right, I was operated there before and I've already done seven operation in my life before so the doctor says that i should call my husband that i have another problem again that i saw something beside my right hand the, of racist that i should call him to come and sign so that i would do another operation for me i said okay i went back home i called my husband said look at what is happening i cannot go there again i'm afraid i don't know if i'm going to survive again I was crying, crying, and he said, I will not go. I will not go. He said, okay, after four days that I will come to Synagogue Church of All Nation. That I before you go to how you receive your healing, can you tell us once again, what was the diagnosis from the doctor concerning your, uh, your situation in the past? Okay, I was, it's just that I was sick. Fevered, the, my stomach was all over, paining me, so pains, I cannot stand up, I can And the doctor said you have which problem? He said I have ovaries. You have um, bilateral uh, large ovaries. Uh, yes. Okay. I, so, then I cannot stand up, I cannot eat, I was always crying. Then after my husband said I should come here, I came Before here. your husband asked you to come here, you talk about operation. Yes. You mean the doctor booked you for operation after you were diagnosed of this bilateral and large ovaries? Yes, he did. He and before you go also, tell us what were the symptoms you were facing then when you were having these problems? Oh, my all over my stomach, I will be feeling hot, so pains all over me. I cannot turn this way. If I turn this way, before I will turn again, at times it will be the one that will come and turn me. Then after that, I now went there, uh, come to Synagogue Church of All Nation. I was privileged to get anointing water. And through this medium of anointing water, I said, God, I opened the booklet. I said, look at the people you hear this through medium of anointing water. That you will do it for me. They have the same head I have. They are how human beings like me, my own will not be different. I prayed after praying, I said, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm healed. I put it inside my mouth and I spread it behind, beside me where the pain is all over. After some few minutes, I feel relieved. I was so light like a baby. I called my husband and said, look at what is happening. And after a year, Shall we put our hands together wonderfully? People are really enjoying your wonderful testimony, my sister. And they, they are happy for your life. Can you continue from there after you minister the anointing water? So after I ministered the anointing water, it was maybe I was just born again and they come out from my mother's womb. I was saying, oh, I don't have pains again. I was shouting, I was screaming, I was calling my children, come. I don't have any pains. Mommy can laugh. I can jump up. Then I called my husband and said, look at what is happening now. When he came, he said, oh, glory be to God. Then after that, I said, I will not go for testimony till. Let me just give it some time. Let me check if it will come back again. Then after a year plus, this is the AA plus now. I went to the hospital. The man said there is nothing that everything has strength. Before it was uh, 5.8 by 3.8 centimeter, and now it was 1.7 by 1.5 centimeter. It was so large. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle worker? Yes, he has indeed done it in the life of this family. She has just explained that she was diagnosed of this uh, bilateral and large ovaries for many years and that she, has been, she was also booked for operation. But because of the pains and experiences that she had in the past after going through a series of operations, about six operations in the past, and she doesn't want to go through any other one anymore. And because of that, she came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations by the special grace of God she was opportune to receive the anointing water. 
daughter and she read the booklet she talked to herself pray to god that god if you can heal the people that i'm reading about in this booklet i know that god is going to heal me as well and today she's testifying to the glory of god that after some time she went back to the same hospital and the doctor tested her again and confirmed that her ovaries is now normal before when she was having a problem the ovary was 5.8 by 3.8 centimeter but after the anointing water right now is 1.7 by 1.5 centimeter shall we put our hands together for the living god this is indeed miracle of our lord and savior jesus christ we know it is the only one that can do this no one else it is only our lord and savior jesus christ that has done it through the medium of this anointing water sister can you tell us how do you feel right now oh uh, i don't know how to explain it I, uh, in fact i'm like a baby now you are like a baby yes and i know most of us here today by the time you have that encounter with the man of god today you also feel like a baby yes. even if you feel old now forget about your age you will feel like a baby but there's going to be a life transformation in your life just as god almighty has done in the life of this dear sister is going to do it also in your life in jesus name amen we give thanks to god for what he has done in your life and we just know that the best is indeed yet to come but before you go we want to listen to your husband because we believe that he also have one or two experiences to share to the glory of god emmanuel emmanuel people of god i'm very glad to be here today because this is my beautiful wife my baby as you just said was almost gone before god revived her through the medium of anointing water because when the thing was the pace was so much on her that I, I couldn't even know where to run to and she was afraid to undergo another operation but already she had six already so she told me that she don't know what to do and she's not going to go to any operation that i shouldn't sign anything to any doctor i said okay the last solution should be synagogue church, church of all nations that you should come here and let's see what god will say about this condition and now she came that night she called me on phone that look at what is happening that those things that she was experiencing before was no more i said what happened she said that she was privileged to have anointing water and after spending the anointing water that she was free i said what do you mean you cannot talk like this you cannot shout you cannot laugh with me but after a few these few weeks so we are all glad and we are happy and we're happy to be here today i said no we can't hide this type of uh, testimony that you must come can you tell us when your wife went back to the hospital and doctor tested your wife what happened yes i went with her and after the test we went back to that same hospital and we met a doctor the doctor he was asking what happened we said that we, uh, he has healed he said what do you mean by he has healed i said through the anointing water that we went to the church of all nation and lagos and uh, that's why she was healed she said that what happened what about the 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 the, the, the large overseas that it wasn't there again i said thank god it's no more so we thank god for everything hallelujah shall we put our hands together for our lord and savior jesus christ who has done this in the life of the couple uh, can you give the viewers those who are listening to you those who are in the house a word of advice my advice to them is when they are in this kind of situation they should only hope in god and believe that our lord jesus christ can do all things and through this anointing, this medium of anointing water nothing is impossible for it to do it can do everything imagine from uh, five point something point three centimeter to one point seven point three centimeter it's it's wonderful the lord is indeed good amen we know that we are serving a living god is a god of impossibility when all hope are lost that is when god will begin to stand and show himself in our lives as a mighty god and we know even when your wife was giving testimony she talked about how she started confessing her healing already right there when she was ministering the anointing water and i know that uh, she realized that uh, she really needs to exercise her faith you know the bible says without faith it is impossible to please god and you know faith is a real faith talking so if you give confession about something if you confess you know that this confession i'm making is my real faith talking and that is why god almighty in his infinite mercy 
listen to our cry and today is a testimony today so also we believe that the advice you are giving to those who are listening you are telling them to begin to confess their freedom even if you think that you are sick start confessing your healing because behind your sickness is good health behind your failure is breakthrough so right now while you are sitting down there listen to testimonies of people you should start confessing your freedom it doesn't matter what your situation is telling you start confessing what your freedom and so also the same god who has done it in the life of the sister today will also do it for every one of us today in jesus name so sister can you give advice to those women who were uh, in your who were right now in your position that um, god almighty has just delivered you from my advice is that as god has done it for me he will also do it for every one of us here because he never say goodbye just have faith he is the healer he will also heal you people in jesus name shall we put our hands together for the lord jesus christ we thank god but before you go once again can you also go closer to the medical reports show us the one that talk about the bilateral and large ovaries the before medical reports okay here was before when it, it was five point eight by three eight centimeter and here now was the, uh, confirmed that it was now 1.7 by 1.5 centimeter so right now the one we are watching right on the screen of our television is the present condition of your ovary before it was 5.8 by 3.8 centimeter and right now is 1.7 by 1.5 centimeter and there we can see on the screen of our television we give god the glory to god almighty who has indeed healed you and remember the the purpose of your healing is for the salvation of your soul and now that god almighty has delivered you restore you back to your original position you should continue to honor christ follow him and receive instruction from him we pray that god almighty in his infinite mercy will grant both of you the grace to be far from sin and be close to his word in jesus name amen once again let's put our hands together for the living god Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter le témoignage de ce couple qui nous vient d'un des états du Nigeria. La dame était très malade et les médecins avaient décidé de l'opérer d'un élargissement bilatéral de son ovaire qui lui donnait des douleurs abdominales. En temps, elle avait déjà subi six opérations et ne s'attendait pas à survivre après cette dernière. Elle arriva ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations et reçut l'audonction. Après administration et après prière, elle avait constaté que les douleurs avaient complètement disparu. Elle est retournée à l'hôpital et a refait de nouvelles analyses, les médecins ont constaté que tout est rentré dans l'ordre et que son ouvert était, redevenu, était revenu à sa taille normale. Ils sont venus ici pour témoigner des bienfaits de Dieu dans leur vie. Gloria a Dios, continuamos con más poderosos testimonios. Esta pareja, para la gloria de Dios, viene con gozo a platicarnos el testimonio a través del agua de unción. Ella nos platica que sufría extremadamente, inclusive al grado de estar tres días en el hospital sufriendo operaciones que al casi perder la vida. Este problema era eh, debido a un alargamiento lateral en los ovarios, el cual costaba demasiado dolor abdominal en el cual eh, requería intervención quirúrgica. Ella, gracias a Dios, tuvo la oportunidad de obtener el agua de unción, oró, y a través del agua de unción, ella, todo dolor desapareció, salvó la vida, por supuesto, y gloria a Dios nos demuestra en este reporte médico el problema tan grave y severo que tenía en los ovarios de un tamaño de 5.7 por 3.8 centímetros, reducir para la gloria de Dios a 1.7 por 1.5 centímetros, el cual es un tamaño normal. Gloria a Dios, Jesucristo lo ha hecho esta vez y está por hacerlo a usted donde quiera que se encuentre. Continuamos con más testimonios aquí en la Sinagua Iglesia de Todas las Naciones.